And in your child's pose, start with your knees a bit wider. You can keep your toes touching together. So you create that space for your belly to rest between the thighs, let your arms gently stretch forward or back to the outsides of the legs. And see if you can just feel the forehead touching down onto the earth or maybe on top of a block or another prop, finding that connection and support. Let your face soften. You can allow your eyes to gently relax close. And just take the first few moments of your practice Settling down into the body and settling into the breath, allowing yourself to find that calm and grounded state. Just remembering that this is your practice. You can always take this shape. You can always take child's pose at any time that you need a break. You can always adjust poses to make them feel better or safer in your body. Allow yourself to guide in the way that feels good. And from these moments of stillness as we begin, if you'd like to invite in an intention for your practice, you can take a moment to set one, any positive thought for yourself or for anyone else who might. And still staying in your child's pose. Take a big, full breath in through the nose, expand through your lungs fully, pause at the top of your breath. And sigh it out through the mouth, let it go. A couple more breaths like that, big full breath and expanding through the belly, ribs, chest, pausing at the top of the breath. And through the mouth, let it all go. And one more full breath in, expanding through the belly, ribs, chest, pausing at the top. And sigh it out through the mouth, let it go. And now starting to keep your lips sealed. Take your breaths. Nice and smooth and even, in through the nose and out through the nose. Try to lengthen the inhale and the exhale and match those lengths. So you have this nice, stable, even breath. And we'll follow the breath as a rhythm for our practice. And pressing into your palms on your next inhale, start to rise up onto your hands and knees. And then just bring your knees about hip distance apart. Make sure your wrists are underneath the shoulders. Keep spreading through the fingers. With your inhale, let your belly melt down as you take your gaze forward, open up across the chest into cow pose. And then exhale, round up through the spine into cat pose, drawing the belly in, chin towards the chest. Just continue with the breath. Inhale, opening up through the heart. And exhale, rounding up through the spine. And just do a few more rounds on your own, connecting breath and movement. Inhale and exhale, guiding this gentle stretch of the spine. And after your next round, start to come back to a neutral spine. And from here, shift your shoulders forward beyond your wrists. And we'll start to take big circles with the body. You can circle your hips all the way back towards your heels and then move your body over towards the side. Just make these big, smooth circles. Nice and steady, just feeling a stretch into the outer hips, into the wrists, into all of the joints. And then start to go in the opposite direction. Big, smooth circles. And with these fluid movements, we're just waking up the body. Coming back to all fours, back into stillness, scoop both of your hands just a little bit forward of the shoulders. Keep spreading through the fingers, ground into the palms, tuck your toes under, and lift your hips all the way up and back into your downward dog. And as you come into your downward dog, feel free to pedal your feet out or lift and lower the heels or any other movements that you like to take to warm up in this shape. And take account of your breath and keep your steady breath flowing in and out. And then with your inhale breath, lift your heels up high, rising up to the balls of the feet. Keep your heels lifted. Start to bend your knees, look forward between your palms, and then walk your feet all the way forward up to your hands. Take as many steps as you need to get there. Let your head hang heavy. Relax your head, neck and arms down. Invitation for the knees to bend gently as well. You can just sway your upper body side to side, open up that space in the back of the leg. And coming back through center, through stillness, with your inhale, rise up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Fingertips can travel to the shins or knees as you pull your heart forward. And exhale, fold back down. 
Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Circle your arms up. Touch your palms overhead at the top of the breath. And exhale, bring your hands down to the heart space. Inhale, circling the arms up. And exhale, hinge up the hips, fold forward. Rise up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale and fold, start to bend your knees so you can plant your palms and step your feet back one at a time into your plank position. Pause and plank. So feel your heels reaching back, heart reaching forward, press the earth away, belly hugging in. And in plank, you can always use your knees for a little bit of extra support. And wherever you are, draw your heart forward, shift your shoulders forward beyond the wrist, inhale. Exhale slowly all the way to the belly. Again, option to use your knees for support. Good, toes point back, bring your hands by your low ribs and float your chest up to cobra. Keep the toes pressing down, widen across the collarbone. And then exhale, float your chest back down with the breath. Two more times, lifting to cobra, inhale, opening up through the heart space. And then exhale, float your chest back down. One more with the breath, inhale, lifting, opening up across the heart. And gently release back down. And tuck your toes, engage your core, press up to plank. You can use your knees to help get you there. Exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back into your downward dog and keep moving with the breath. Inhale, heels lift up high. Exhale, bend your knees, gaze forward, walk, step, or float your feet up to your hands. Inhale, brings you up halfway with a flat spine. Exhale, deep fold back down. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching palms overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Surya A, inhale, sweeping your arms up. Exhale, hinge up the hips and fold forward. Rise up halfway, inhale. Exhale and fold, step it back to your plank position. Pause and plank, inhale to shift your shoulders forward. Exhale slowly all the way to the belly with control. Keep your elbows close to the body, toes point back. Rise on your inhale, cobra or upward dog if you're ready. You can press your arms straight, open through the chest. Pause here for a breath in and out. And take one more inhale together in your back bend. Tuck your toes, lift the hips all the way up and back into your downward dog. Good. Inhale, rising up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, bend the knees, looking forward, walk, step, or float it up to the top. Inhale, brings you up halfway, flat spine. Exhale, deep fold back down. And rise all the way to stand. Inhale, circling the arms up, touch your palms. Exhale, hands to heart space. One more round of Surya A. Inhale, sweeping your arms up. Exhale, hinge up the hips and fold forward. Rise up halfway. Exhale and fold, step it back to plank. You can hop it back, chaturanga, move through your vinyasa, which is always optional. You can always skip and go straight into your downward dog. As you get into your downward dog, pause and breathe. Feel the foundation and grounding of the hands and feet as you feel the hips extending up and back. And walk, step or float the feet up to the hands, back up to your forward fold at the top of our space. Rise up halfway, flat spine. Exhale and fold it back down. And all the way to stand, sweeping your arms up, touching your palms overhead at the top of the breath. Exhale, hands to heart space. And feet together or hip distance into your chair pose, Ikatakana. Bend your knees, sweep your arms up and sit down low. And as, feel, as you feel the energy of the arms reaching up, Keep the shoulders soft, resting away from the ears, core is hugging in. And see if you can challenge yourself to sit lower with a strong core, still keeping your chest upright. Take one more inhale, breath, and exhale, fold it forward. Rise up halfway. Exhale and fold, step it back to plank or float it back, chaturanga, vinyasa, or straight back into your downward dog. From your downward dog, inhale your right leg up and back. And then stack your hip open and bend your knee for a moment. And from here, on your left foot, the grounded foot, lift the heel up and just feel how that opens up the back of your left leg a little bit more. Then drop your left heel back down. And extend your right leg straight back. Three-legged downward dog hips level out. Bring your knee into the chest, knee to nose, shift forward and step your foot all the way through between your palms. Spin your back heel down. You're gonna rise up to warrior two. Circle your left arm all the way back. Chest turns open towards the left side. And take a moment, grounding through the feet, deep bend into your front knee. And straighten your right knee, reach both arms up towards the sky. We're gonna turn our body towards the left, put the heels in, 
toes out and come down into this big squat, hands to the heart space. I'm gonna pulse into the squat a few times. So straighten your legs, circle your arms up, touch your palms overhead. Exhale right back down into the squat. And one more time, circling the arms up. Bring your hands back down to the heart space. And press your legs straight, reach your arms up, and now readjust your feet back to warrior two, facing back towards the front of our space. Inhale, reach it back to reverse warrior. And then exhale, circle your hands all the way down to your mat. Plant the palms, step it back to plank position. Lower chaturanga. Toes point back, rise to cobra or upward dog. And tuck your toes, lift your hips all the way up and back into your downward dog. And inhale your left leg up and back. And stack your hip open and bend your knee. And then as you look at your right foot, your grounded foot, lift that right heel up. And again, feel that stretch, the opening in the back of your right hamstring. And set your right heel back down. Extend your left leg straight back. Feel the hips level out. Use your core strength to step your left foot all the way through between your palms. Spin your right heel down. We're opening up warrior two. Chest open towards the right side of the room now. And a couple of breaths. And straighten your left knee. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Reset your feet, heels and toes out as you turn towards the right side of our space. And then bring yourself with your hands down into the heart into this big goddess squat. And flowing through the squat with the breath. Straighten your legs. Reach your arms up. Circle them up. Touch your palms. Exhale, hands to the heart as you re-bend the knees. And one more time. Straighten your legs. Reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, all the way back down. Hands to the heart space. Head straighten your legs. Reach the arms up towards the sky. Reset your feet back to warrior two, bending into the left knee and floating your arms down. Inhale, reach it back to reverse warrior. And circle your hands all the way down to your mat. Plant your palms down. Step it back to plank position. Move through your vinyasa or back into your downward dog. Walk, step or float the feet up to the hands. Rise up halfway, flat spine. Exhale, deep fold back down and back into your chair pose. Bend your knees, sweep your arms up, sit down low. And press into your feet, rise all the way up to stand, touch your palms. Exhale, hands to the heart space. And flowing through that with the breath, bend your knees, sweep your arms up, sit down low. And exhale, fold it forward. Rise up halfway. Exhale and fold, step it back to plank or float it back, chaturanga, lowering through your vinyasa. And making your way into downward dog. Inhale the right leg up and back. And stack your hip open and bend your knee. Inhale, extend your right leg straight back, feel the hips level out. And exhale, step your foot all the way through between your palms. Back heel spins down. Open it up to your warrior two. And straighten your front knee, reach your arms up, inhale. Reset your feet. Got a sit squat into towards the left side, hands to the heart space. Straighten your legs, inhale, circle your arms up. Exhale, back into your squat. And one more with the breath, circling the arms up. And see if you can sit down a little bit deeper on the squat. And press the legs straight, reach your arms up, back to your warrior two, facing forward. Inhale, reach it back to reverse warrior. And exhale, palms press down to the earth. Step it back to plank. Lower slow. Rise up to your back bend with an inhale. And exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back, downward dog. Inhale, your left leg up and back. Exhale, stack your hip open and bend your knee. Inhale, extend your left leg straight back. And exhale, step your foot through between your palms. Back heel spins down, rise up, open it up to your warrior two. And straighten your left knee, reach your arms up, turn towards your right side, heels and toes out. Exhale, hands to the heart, into your squat. Go ahead, press the legs straight, inhale, circle your arms up. Exhale, back into your squat. One more with the breath. Straightening the legs, circle the arms up. And back down into your squat. Good. Straighten your legs, reach the arms up. And then reset your feet, float your arms out, warrior two, facing forward. Inhale, reach it back to reverse warrior. Take your hands all the way down to your mat, plant your palms down, step it back to plank position, vinyasa or downward dog. Breathe in your downward dog. Walk, step or float your feet up to your hands. 
Coming back up to your forward fold at the top of our space. Rise up halfway to left spine. Exhale, deep fold back down. Back into your chair pose, bend your knees. Keep your arms up and sit down low. And find this deep seat, tall spine, relax the shoulders. And with your strong core, see if you can sit down a little bit deeper. And then press into your feet, rise all the way up to standing, touch your palms overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Head straight back into your chair, bend your knees, sweep your arms out, sit down, sit down low. Exhale and fold it forward. Rise up halfway. Exhale and fold, step it back or float it back. Moving through your vinyasa or straight back into your downward dog. Inhale your right leg up and back. Stack your hip open and bend your knee. Inhale, extend your right leg straight back. Step it through between your palms. And this time, check that your feet are about hip distance apart. We're gonna keep your back heel lifted up and rise to high crescent facing forward. Reaching the arms up towards the sky. Feel your hips pointing forward, your chest is pointing forward. And feeling that energy rising up through the sides of the waist, all the way through the fingertips. Option to touch your palms and gaze up. And try to keep your shoulders relaxed. Take one more inhale breath. And then exhale into a standing split. So you can bring your fingertips down to the ground or use your block. Float your left leg up towards the sky. Then relax your head and neck down. And your choice if you want to balance. You can bring your right hand to your ankle or calf or both hands around your ankle or calf, even just for a moment. And you ground your fingertips back down if you're playing with that balance. And then softly bend your right knee, take a big step back with your left foot and set your foot down. So we're setting up for warrior two again. You rise up with your arms with your chest, floating your chest open towards the left side. And straighten your right knee, reach your arms up towards the sky, set up for your goddess squat, heels and toes out, come back down into that deep stretch. And bring your left forearm on top of your left thigh and sweep your right arm all the way alongside the ear. So we're taking this deep side stretch on the right side of the body. Keep your knees bent. Inhale, come up right through the chest and then exhale, switching the arms, switching the side stretch, right forearm to the thigh, Left arm reaching up and overhead. Inhale, coming back up right. Exhale, side stretch towards the back. Inhale, coming up right again. Exhale, side stretch towards the front. Coming back up right, start to press your legs straight, reach your arms up and overhead. Float back to your warrior two, facing forward, switching the feet. And reach it back to reverse warrior. And circle your hands all the way down to your mat, plant your palms, step it back to plank position. Vinyasa or straight back into your downward dog. Inhale your left leg up and back. Stack your hip open and bend your knee. Inhale, extend your left leg straight. And exhale, step your foot all the way through between your palms. Again, check the foundation of your feet. Back heel stays lifted. Rise with your arms and chest up towards the sky, facing forward, high crescent. And steady, full breaths here. Take one more inhale, maybe touch your palms and gaze up. And then as you exhale, standing splits, fingertips down, right leg floats up towards the sky. And your option of balance again, right hand can stay grounded. Maybe you take your left hand to the angle or calf or both hands to the angle or calf. Try to keep your head and neck relaxed. And ground your fingertips back down. Softly bend your left knee so you can plant your right foot down, setting up the base for warrior two, and rise, opening up, circling your right arm all the way back. Go ahead, straighten your left leg, reach your arms up towards the sky, reset your feet, heels and toes out, into your goddess squat, facing towards the right side. Go ahead, bring your right forearm to the top of the thigh, take your left arm, stretch it alongside the ear. Nice, long side stretch. And inhale, chest comes up right, arms out to a T, Exhale towards the front, right arm stretches alongside the ear. And inhale, coming up right. Exhale, sweeping towards the back. Inhale, come back up right. Exhale, sweep towards the front. Inhale, coming up right. And press into your legs, reach the arms up towards the sky. Reset your feet back to warrior two facing forward. And reach it back to reverse warrior, nice long stretch. And circle your hands all the way down to your mat. Plant the palms down, step it back to plank position. 
vinyasa or a downward dog, moving through. Ground onto your hands and feet, take a full breath in through the nose. And side out through the mouth, let it go. And walk, step or float your feet up to your hands, coming back up to your forward fold at the top of our space. Rise up halfway with a flat spine. Exhale, fold it back down and come back to your chair pose. Bend your knees, sweep your arms up, sit down low. And as you sit the hips down low, keep the fingertips reaching high, keep your shoulders soft. And from here, we're gonna slowly come all the way down to seated at any time if you need to use your hands to support you, feel free. And sit the hips down. See if you can lift the heels up into your Navasana boat pose. You can take your hands behind your knees. You can always keep your feet down and just reach your fingertips back for a little bit more support. You might float your legs straight and reach your arms forward, your version of this core strengthening position. And steady breath, try to keep your heart open, wide across the collarbones. Make sure you're breathing. Now take one more inhale breath. And then as you exhale, pull your chest up right, bring the bottoms of the feet to touch, knees open, hands on the tops of the feet, and just fold your chest over the feet, Baddha Konasana, getting into this inner groin stretch. And steady full breaths here, feel the beat of the heart, the warmth and the strength you're building in the body. Take one more inhale and exhale. And come back up right through the chest. And take your hands to help fold your knees up. We're gonna come back to chair pose. Some of you might try to come from here. Ground your feet down, separate your knees a little bit. Feel your weight shift forward. Use your hands if you need to, but see if you can bring your balance up, squeeze your legs together, and then reach your chest forward, reach your fingertips up. And press into your feet, we're gonna rise all the way to stand, touch your palms. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Take a moment, close your eyes. Another full breath here, full breath in through the nose, and let it go through the mouth. And relax your arms down, open the eyes up. We're going to balance on our left foot, and open up your right knee towards the right for a version of tree pose. So you can bring your ankle, your heel above the left ankle, you can bring your foot to the calf, or foot to the inner thigh. So make sure you're balancing on your left foot and your right foot is the one that's planting somewhere onto the left leg. Take a moment to stand up tall. And take just one more inhale, nice tall spine, hugging your core. And then as you exhale, slide your right foot back down, pointing the toes forward. Weight shifts into your right foot. Inhale, bring your left knee up towards your chest with your foot flex. And then exhale, heart forward, warrior three, reaching back through the left heel. Pause here. You can keep your hands to the heart. You can reach the arms forward or back. Take one more inhale breath. And then exhale, keep your left leg lifted, standing split, fingertips down to the ground or to blocks. In your version of balance, just a couple more breaths here. And take one more inhale breath. And as you exhale, take a big step back with the left foot, set it down. We're opening up to warrior two, circling up through the chest, up through the arms, and flip your right palm to face up, reach it back to reverse warrior. And then you're gonna take your hands all the way down onto your mat, plant your left palm, lift your left heel up, reach your right arm up to the sky. So now your chest is twisting open to the right. You can keep your back knee lifted, or if you need to, lower your back knee down. And breathing here, shoulders draw away from the ears, rotate the chest open, maybe you can turn your gaze up to look at the right thumb. Wherever you are, take your right arm, stretch it forward alongside the ear, and take it down to the mat. From here, wiggle your right foot out towards the right edge of your mat. You're going to bring your right hand on the inside of the right foot. We're coming into a lizard pose to stretch into the hips a bit more. Lower your left knee down and point your toes back. So this can be your lizard pose. You can come down onto your forearms or place your forearms onto blocks. Just take it to your level. Deep stretch into the outer left hip. If you're craving more intensity, you can tuck your back toes and lift your back knee up. And steady breath to wherever you are. Feel the shoulders drawing down the back, away from the ears, so you have spaciousness in your neck. Try not to cramp up in that area. Softness through your face and deep breaths. And 
the last couple of breaths. And if you're on your forearms or on blocks, press into your palms. Everyone lift your back knee up. So tuck your left toes under, lift your back knee up if you had it onto the earth. Squeeze your right knee to your right tricep and then lift your right heel up. So you're in this balance. Take a big, slow step back with your right foot. So here we are in plank position. Take a moment to find your bearings and then move through your vinyasa or straight back into your downward dog. And from your downward dog, walk, step, or float your feet up to your hands, coming back up to your forward fold. Rise up halfway. Exhale, fold it back down. And rise all the way up to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching your palms overhead at the top of the breath. Exhale, hands to the heart space. And now balance on your right foot. Turn your left knee open, balance the left heel onto the ankle, foot to the calf, or foot to the inner thigh. You feel everything hugging in through the center line of the body, tall spine, strong core, into your version of tree pose. And take one more inhale here. Now as you exhale, slide your left foot down, pointing the toes forward. Inhale, right knee lifts up towards the level of the hips. Exhale, heart forward, reach the right heel back, warrior three. And again, make this your version of the stretch. You can change the version of the arms or use even blocks with your fingertips touching down. Core strong, hips are level. Find that length through the body. And one more inhale back. A standing split without dropping your right leg. Let your chest fold in. You can use the ground. You can use your blocks. Take one more inhale breath. And then as you exhale, bend into your left knee softly. Take a big step back. You're going to plant your foot down. Open up warrior two. Chest opens up towards the right side. Inhale, reach it back to reverse warrior. And as you exhale, circle your hands down to your mat. And lift your right heel up and plant your right palm down. Sweep your left arm up towards the sky. So now we're in this deep twist, opening up towards the left side. Again, feel your chest opening up. Maybe you can turn your gaze towards the left side wall or up towards your thumb. And take one more inhale. And bring your left hand back down to your mat. Wiggle your left foot out towards the left side of your mat. Bring the left hand on the inside of your leg and lower your right knee down, point your right toes back. Setting up for your version of wizard pose. Again, you can stay here. You can come down onto your forearms. You can tuck your back toes and lift your back knee up. Really deep stretch into the outer left hip. And breathe into this space. Last couple of breaths. And start to press back into your palms if you lower it down onto your forearms. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee up. And pressing into your palms, squeeze your left knee to your left shoulder or tricep. And just float your left heel up off the floor and then slowly step this left foot all the way back. Feel your glute working as you do that. Back in your plank position. And your choice, vinyasa or downward dog. Walk, step, or float your feet up to your hands. Back up to your forward fold and rise up halfway. Exhale, fold it back down and all the way up to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching your palms overhead at the top of the breath. And exhale, hands to the heart space. Again, take your feet a little bit wider than your hips. Turn your toes towards the corners of the mat. And with your inhale, circle your arms up towards the sky. And as you exhale, we're coming all the way down into a malasana, into a squat. So you can always sit on top of a block for a bit more support into the hips. You can press into your palms to help feel the chest opening. Keep your hips sitting down low. And you can stay here. I'll give you a couple of options if you want to get deeper into the hips. You might stretch your fingertips forward and stretch your hips back, holding your chest down. If Bhakasana Pro Pose is part of your practice, you can plant your palms down. Walk your feet in closer together, lift the heels, lift the hips up, tip your knees behind the triceps, and go for that arm balance, shifting the weight forward, keep your gaze forward, core is hugging in, and maybe one foot or both feet start to lift off the earth. 
squeezing towards your bottom. And steady breaths wherever you are. And if you're in this arm balance, you can step or float your feet back, moving through your vinyasa. We're all going to meet in downward dog. So if you're in the hip stretch, just come into a forward fold. You can walk, step, or float your feet back. We'll all make our way into downward dog, taking your time. And once you get to our downward dog, just start to gently lower your knees down. Shift your hips back towards your heels. Come back into the same child's pose that we started in. And in this child's pose, your choice if you want to keep your knees farther apart or bring them closer together, you'll feel a different stretch into your back. Arms can again gently stretch forward or stretch back to the outsides of the legs. Steady full breaths in, let the eyes close, let the body find rest and stillness. So in our practice, just finding that balance between effort and ease. And whenever we drop into a restful pose, really letting go, allowing yourself to fully rest. And take a full breath in. Sigh it out through the mouth, let it go. Find that sense of release. And then just stay in this restful pose a little bit longer. And as you're ready, we're going to meet back into downward dog, reaching our arms forward, pressing to the palms, rising up to all fours, tuck your toes, lift your hips all the way up and back, downward dog. And walk, step or float it up to the hands, forward fold, Uttanasana. Rise up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, deep fold, back down. Rise all the way up to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching your palms overhead at the top of the breath. Exhale, bring your hands to the heart space. And the last little bit of standing sequence into our balance again. So start by balancing on your left foot, back to your tree pose with your right knee opening out towards the right, heel to the ankle, foot to the calf, or foot to the inner thigh. And this time in your tree pose, option to reach your arms up, split the palms, and find that openness across the chest, extension through the arms. See if you can feel yourself standing up taller. If you have your arms up, touch your palms overhead, take one more inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart as you slide your right foot down, toes pointing forward. Inhale, left knee lifts up. Exhale, hinge forward, warrior three. And again, here in warrior three, your version of arms, hands to the heart, you can reach your arms back. Most challenging will be to reach the arms forward. Take one more inhale, breath. Exhale, standing split, folding your chest and keeping your left leg lifted. And your choice of balance in this shape. And ground your fingertips, take one more inhale breath. Exhale, big step back with your left foot as you bend into your right knee. We're opening up to warrior two. Pause, grounding here. Inhale, reach it back to reverse warrior. Then exhale, circle your hands down, bring your left hand underneath the shoulder. Lift your left heel up. We're opening up to that twist again, reaching your right arm up to the sky. So options here, you can stay in this twist. You can come to a version of side plank. You can roll to the outer edge of your left foot. You can step your right foot in front of you, stack your feet, stagger your feet. And if you're feeling up for the challenge, you might take your second and third fingers on your right hand to the right big toes and see about stretching this right leg up towards the sky. Just an option, completely optional. And from whichever version of side plank you're in or that twist, bring your right hand back to the ground with control, back to your plank. Level out through your hips. Inhale as you shift your body forward. Lower slow, chaturanga. Rise up to your back bend, open through the heart. And exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back. Downward dog. And walk, step or float the feet up to the hands. Back up to your forward fold at the top. Rise up halfway, inhale. Exhale, deep fold, back down, rise all the way up to stand. As you inhale, reach your arms up, touch palms. Exhale, hands to the heart space. And balance on your right foot. Left knee opens to the left into your tree pose, Rikshasana, your version of tree. And if you want to reach your arms up towards the sky, if you did that on the other side, 
That's another option. Again, feel everything hugging in through the center line of the body. Nice tall spine and steady breaths. Nice, if your arms are reaching up, inhale, touch your palms overhead. And exhale, hands to the heart as you slide your left foot down, toes point forward. Inhale, right knee lifts up. Exhale, warrior three. And pause in your balance, warrior three. Hands to the heart, arms can reach back or arms can reach forward. Keep your core strong and your hips level. Take one more inhale, rest. Exhale, standing split, fingertips down as you pull in. And your version of balance here. And take one more inhale breath. And as you exhale, land your feet down, preparing for warrior two, spinning your right heel down, circle your chest and your arms all the way up. And take a moment to ground down. Flip your left palm to face up, inhale, reach it back to reverse warrior. And then circle your hands down to your mat. Plant your right palm, lift your right heel up, twist to the left, reaching your left arm up towards the sky. And again, you can stay right here in your twist. You start to roll to the arm of your right foot, move to your version of side plank, Vashi Satsana. You can grab your left big toe with your second and third fingers and maybe extend this leg up towards the sky. And whichever version you're in, take your left arm, stretch it forward alongside the ear, hands down to your mat, back into your plank position. Last vinyasa or straight back into your downward dog. From your downward dog, take a full breath in. And side out through the mouth, let it go. And again, full breath in. Let it go through the mouth. One more full breath in. And through the mouth, let it go. Walk, step, or float your feet up towards the hands. We're going to come through to seated. Bend your knees, sit your hips down. And extend your legs all the way out in front of you. Flex through the feet. Sitting up tall. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. And exhale, hinge at your hips and fold forward. Let your body round in. It's fine if there's a gentle bend in your knees, just let your upper body hang heavy towards the front of our space. With your last few breaths here is on the exhale. Can you feel yourself melting down a little bit further? Nice. And then on your next inhale, reach your arms all the way back up towards the sky. Find a nice tall spine again. Now, as you exhale, pull your belly button in towards the spine and slowly roll all the way down onto your back. And bend your knees up. And coming into a hip stretch here, recline on our back, cross your right ankle above your left knee, keep your right foot flexed. And some of you might already feel a deep stretch in the outer right hip, you can stay here or come in to thread the needle or create this figure four shape, straightening out the left leg flexing the foot and holding around the ankle or towards the calf. So let it be a stretch that works for your body. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed. You can even keep your eyes rested closed. And gently start to release, plant your feet back down and switch sides, cross your left ankle above your right knee. And stay here, thread the needle. Or into that figure four shape on this side, reaching around the right calf or ankle. And the same steadiness of breath, inviting rest into the body. And gently release, bring your feet back down, open your arms out towards the sides, up to a T or bend your elbows, and take your favorite spinal twist, knees to the left first. You can bump your hips to the right. You can cross the right leg over the left. Your version of a twist. Option to look over your right shoulder in the opposite direction of the legs. Take a full breath in. And let it go through the mouth. And with your next inhale, bring your head and your knees back up through center. 
Twist in the opposite way. Reset the spine. You can shift the hips if you'd like. Gaze over your left shoulder. Take another full breath in. Through the mouth, let it go. Bring your head and your knees back up through center. Bring your hips back through center if you move them at all. Into a quick happy baby pose. Knees to the outsides of the torso. Flex your feet and hold around the edges of your feet. Lengthen your tailbone. You can gently rock side to side if that feels good. And bring your knees in towards your chest. Find a nice gentle squeeze. Feel gratitude for your body. And start to gently set up for your final resting pose, Shavasana. Relax your arms down, relax your feet down. Take your time setting up for your deep stretch. Your legs can be extended, your knees can be bent up. You can rest your arms away from the body or gently ground them onto the body. Wherever you are, invite your eyes to rest closed. Before I do this rest, taking one more full breath in through the nose, expanding through the lungs fully. Sang it out through the mouth, let it all go. Find that full sense of release in your Shavasana. Allowing yourself to let go of all effort in the physical body, allowing your mind to relax fully. Feel your face soften. Let the eyes relax back, jaws relax. Some shoulders are heavy, belly soft, hips heavy. Just rest down through the arms, all the way into the fingers and all the way down through the legs into the toes to receive all the benefits of our strong practice today. You have the time and space and if you're craving a longer shavasana feel free to stay here if you're just about ready to close up your practice without changing the body start to deepen the breath pull your breath in and out and allow the breath to gently reawaken the body you can bring some gentle movements into the fingers and toes On your next inhale, reach your arms all the way back behind you. Find that nice long stretch from end to end. And gently bend your knees up, plant your feet down onto the earth. And roll over onto your favorite side for your fetal position. Resting your head into the upper arm, curling the knees in towards the chest. Take a moment grounded down and then take another full breath in through the nose. And through the mouth, let it go. And still keeping your eyes rested closed, use your hands and arms to press yourself up to your meditation seat, making your way to this grounded state. And bring your palms to touch in front of the heart space. And just take a moment to reconnect to your intention, your reason for your practice. Thank yourself for carving out time to focus on your health and well being. Find gratitude for your strong and healthy body for our time together today. And to close, I'll invite you to chant with me the sound of Om. Even if you're shy or other people might hear you, and even if you want to do it quietly, just to feel that vibration through the body, we'll do it together, taking an inhale. Sound of Om is said to encompass all the sounds of the universe, a reminder that we are all connected. 
You're all one. I thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.